Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm finally getting around to test some She Glam makeup. We have got an eyeshadow palette to try. This is the Loving Libra palette. I also have the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation to try. And then we have got their Glowing Up Skin Stick in the shade Golden Sun, which is a bronzer. Also got one of the blushes. I'm excited about this. This is in the shade Petal Talk. It's a nice pink blush to try. I've also got a lipstick as well. I've had this for a while. This is the She Glam Matte Lipstick. I've got in the shade Bold Type. So yeah, they're all the items I'm going to try out today. If you're interested to see how these perform, then make sure you can watch and hit subscribe. I do also have a makeup Patreon as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the testing. This palette also won my Patreon palette poll, which I hold every single Friday. These were the runners up. We've got the Beauty Bay Earthy, and then I Heart Revolution Pumpkin Pie. I have not used this yet this year. It needs to be used. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the Loving Libra eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go in my Beauty Bay eye base. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the shade Harmony, this really bright neon green. I've not even swatched this yet, so. I don't know how this is going to be. Very bright. I'm thinking of just putting this all over the lid. Have a really green moment. It is taking about a couple of coats to get the full opacity of the colour. But it's laying on really nicely. I was thinking of doing the same eyeshadow look as the artwork. She's got green on the lid and then on the lower lash line she's going into a pinky purple. I'm going to start off with the purple. This is called Clever. I'd say this is the darkest shade out of the palette. I bet this would look so nice on the lid. And then I'm gonna go in the pink to blend it out. This is called Open Hearted. Let's put on the shimmer green. This is called Peace. Exciting. Let's put this on the lid. Oh, that's a pretty shimmer. Very lightweight, it's not chunky. It goes on really smooth. It's got a very light sparkle, nothing too intense. I wouldn't say it's really foily, it's just a very light fairy shimmer. I'm gonna add eyeliner off camera. If you want to, I'm gonna use the Made by Mitchell color case, the Electrics. I'm thinking of going into this shade here, which is called Fuchsia. So, be right back. I'm also gonna put that piece shade on the brow bone. I've just given myself some inner corner wings. I did use the Teemu eyeliner that I've been really liking. Okay, time for this foundation. I am gonna go over primer first. This is the Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer. Pop that on. Okay, so this foundation, oh, that's very fancy for She Glam. It's got its own pouch. Right, so what it says about this, a pro long lasting breathable matte foundation, sweat and waterproof formula with a lightweight breathable finish, packed with ingredients that won't clog your pores love this fragrance free foundation delivers a semi-matte natural looking flawless finish that lasts day to night that sounds really nice because it's not a totally matte formula i've got it in the shade shell which i have no idea what undertone this is it may be neutral or cool i don't know but it's in this glass bottle which is really nice quality for she glam this is shell feels thick it might work this shade. My skin is quite normal but sensitive so let's just see how this is looking. It's looking good so far. I feel like the colour's not too bad. I'm really sniffly. Okay I've got a bit of a spot there. Let's see if it can cover that. Yeah, the coverage on this is pretty good. I say it's quite full coverage, it's saying it's a medium. It does feel lightweight and I've just used one pump. Yeah, it hasn't picked up any dry bits. It's gone on my nose really nice. In fact, really well. I get really dry on my nose. Yes, she glam. Next up, I've got a bronzer. This is in the shade Golden Sun, which is also in the same shade what I normally use to set other contour bronzer thing so that's also golden sun so i thought i'd try this version out which is more of a stick formula so felt quite waxy then let's just let's do that for now i'm going to use a brush and then a sponge on the other side okay that blends so easy yes <laughs> i really like that It's a free dot. I'm gonna go in my Real Technique sponge. I 
I feel like I might prefer the brush of this one. Just blended a bit easier. Good one there. Happy. Let's put it on my nose. Okay, I don't have a She Glam concealer, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna do my normal. This is the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF1W. Okay, time for some blush. I wish I got the highlighter now in this version. This is the Petal Talk shade. It's in the same packaging as their contour. Oh, very bright that is. I love the sponge applicators on these. So yeah, very Barbie pink. Let's just apply it. That's pretty. It's not too intense either. Bunge or brush equally good. That is pretty. I am gonna go for highlighter. I don't think I've got a She Glam highlighter. Yeah, I've just checked, I actually don't. So I'm gonna go in the Made by Mitchell liquid blush, but this is like a highlight shade in the shade Sprinkles. It's been a while since I've done this, so. This is pretty. There we go, but I'm gonna keep it slow as well. I'm just gonna put on this plump it volumizing mascara. Mascara? No. Lip gloss. It's just gone on my tongue. Great. That plump it. Oh my god. I'm literally crying. That freaking stings. I'm not even being dramatic. When you don't put a lot on, it's fine, but I actually put quite a bit on there and I just realized I could use that green shimmer that I used on the lid as a highlighter as well, just like a highlighter topper, we'll do that. I'm just going in my Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. I'm literally at the point of crying at this point with that plump at mascara. Let's try this piece shade as a shimmer, that highlighter, sorry. Let's try brush. Yeah, I literally can't get over my lips. I look like I've got an allergic reaction, what? She Glam Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Bold Type. I've used this before, it's beautiful. It's like a cherry cotton shade. I don't think I'm gonna... It really is red. I, don't, I was saying, I don't think I'm gonna go over lip liner. Let's just go in. I am gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime first, just to add a bit of moisture. This goes on quite um, pigmented. This is a nice lip formula. It does dry down and there's hardly any transfer. I mean, it's quite a bit now because I've just put it on, but usually. By the way, that plump it will calm down. I just don't have the time right now, so. I also got my mum it for Christmas. So I think they make really good Christmas presents. Um, yeah, I can't wait to give her that. Just to finish off, I am gonna go with this watermelon glow fixing spray. This is from Primark in the I Heart Revolution section. I'm just going to add some powder dead quick. This is the Laura Mercier powder. Here's my finished She Glam makeup testing. Let's just do a quick roundup with all the products. The eyeshadow palette. I feel like the shades work well together. I always, I've always liked green and pink together. This took a couple of coats to get the pigment I want, but you know what? It really works and it just blended out really nicely. This was really nice on the waterline. It provided a lot of depth. However, I don't know how that's going to perform on the lid. Maybe I'll have to come back to it and try it on TikTok or something using this on the outer corners on the lid. You know what, just thinking about it, there's actually not a product I didn't really like testing today. This bronzer stick in the shade Golden Sun blended so well. I preferred it with a brush. I knew I was going to like this because I know I like the bronzer version with this sponge applicator so I may have to get another shade. And as for the foundation, I mean I don't know how long it's going to wear but judging on first impressions, it really has covered everything. Yeah, it hasn't clung to anything. And it feels like, wait, it does not feel heavy whatsoever. I would say it is semi-matte, like they said. But yeah, that's the end of my video today. Do let me know what you think of this makeup look. Have you tried any of the star sign palettes? Do let me know. I'm not a Libra. But yeah, just before I go, if you did enjoy it today, make sure you give a big thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And if you don't want to miss out on more makeup content, beauty videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe button down below. I also do have a makeup Patreon as well, where we just have a little makeup chat and I just post things what I'm up to behind the scenes if you're interested I'll leave that in my description box but yeah I hope you have a lovely day now every time I watch this and I shall see you in the next one bye